Hey, it's Maximo, and welcome to Maximo's Travels. Today, folks, I'm doing something very different. I'm going to ask the question, is it still worth buying duty-free spirits in Australia in 2024? Stay tuned to find out the answer. Now, I've just returned back from a very big overseas trip. I'll provide details of the trip in the coming weeks. When I was in the duty-free section at Melbourne Airport on the way home, I always stop and get some duty-free spirits. And I was wondering, the prices at the duty-free at Melbourne Airport seemed quite high. Um, I've been travelling for a while and you know, I've always thought that the duty-free prices were quite, uh, quite good value and I thought this time, I'm not so sure. So I got home and did a bit of research and I'm asking the question, is it still worth buying duty-free spirits in Australia in 2024? Well, I've done a, well, not really a scientific test, but it's more an uh, anecdotal test of these five different uh, bottles of spirits and hopefully that will provide some sort of answer as to whether it's still good value buying duty free in Australia or not. So when I was um, in duty free at Melbourne Airport I bought these three bottles. The Banna Hubba Bain or something that sounds quite similar to that. The Dewa Blended 15 year old and the Glenlivet Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. They're the three bottles that I bought duty free. And I thought they were quite expensive. These three bottles cost around $350. The first one, the Banna Hubba Bain, cost uh, $133 duty free. Um, it's a nice looking bottle or packaging. It's a 700 ml bottle for $133. Now I thought to myself, how much could I buy this non-duty free? Um, I usually go to Dan Murphy's, which is a large chain of uh, discounted um, alcohol stores that sells spirits, beer, wine, you name it. It's, it's basically a, an alcohol superstore. It's probably about the size of a mid-size Aldi, uh, it, it's quite large. What I have done is I w went and visited uh, my local Dan Murphy's uh, a couple of days ago. I'll leave a, um, I'll superimpose the image that I took on the screen. So I went there and I tried to compare these three bottles to see how much it would be if I bought these three at normal prices, not, not discounted or not on sale. Uh, to see how I went. So for the first one, the, uh, the, the Islay Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, 700ml bottle at Dan Murphy's, I could get this for $107. Now that compares to a price of $133 duty free. That means it's $26 more in the duty free stop shop than it was at Dan Murphy's. So right there, that the duty free price is, is not a bargain. It's actually a lot more expensive. And I could probably wait and get this at Dan Murphy's um, on sale and it'd probably be even cheaper than the $107. So that, that was the most disappointing purchase that I made. So the next bottle that I went and had a look at was this um, Dewar's blended 15 year old Scotch whiskey. This is a one litre bottle. Duty free, it cost $98 at Melbourne Airport. The Dan Murphy's price for this was $72 $72 for a 700ml bottle 
So to get the one litre cost of this from Dan Murphy, I need to multiply 72 by 1.43, and that gives me a price of $102.96. So if I was to go to Dan Murphy to get an equivalent one litre bottle, the duty-free price would only be $3 less than what I got for it duty-free. Not much of a difference. So already, $26 more duty-free, $3 less duty-free. The last bottle I got was this Glenlivet single malt 12-year-old Scotch whisky, something that um, I had quite a few glasses of when I was overseas and took a particular fondness to. This bottle, duty-free, at Melbourne Airport was $112. The Dan Murphy's price was $114. So the duty-free price of this Glenlivet is only $2 less than the price that I was able to get at Duty Free. Now, in total, these three bottles, um, $26 more, $3 less, $2 less, all in all, I would have saved $21 by buying these three bottles, not Duty Free, but at my local Dan Murphy Superstore, rather than uh, buying a duty free. I also spent $2 for a bag because you've got to carry this stuff. And there's the, um, the, the added um, bonus of being very, very tired after uh, long, long haul flights, um, having suitcases, backpacks, camera bags, as well as, as, well as having an extra bag to carry this alcohol. Um, into the, uh, through customs, into the, uh, the Uber, and all the way home. So it was a fair hassle to pay more money than I could have done it locally at, at my leisure. And I did go to my local uh, alcoholic superstore, Dan Murphy's. I'll leave a link to the store in the description. And I'll also provide some footage as I'm talking of what, uh, what it looks like. It's probably about the size of a mid-size Aldi store. It, it, it's probably the size of a medium size, not a huge, but a medium to small size supermarket. Huge range of uh, selection. Um, I go there quite often to um, stock up on my uh, whiskies, gins, uh, wines, uh, and um, other uh, drinking needs. Now, I was actually in there to do the research on how much it would cost to buy these three bottles there. And I came across this. This is one of my all-time favourite whiskies. It's a Dalwini 15-year-old uh, Highland single malt Scotch whisky. Now, I saw this on special, right? But I also saw it uh, in the duty-free uh, section at Melbourne Airport. In the duty-free section of Melbourne Airport, this one litre bottle would have cost $160. Now, Dan Murphy doesn't have a one litre bottle, they only have a 700 ml bottle. So the 700 ml bottle at Dan Murphy is $143. Now, in order to convert the, the uh, one litre Dalwini bottle duty free to uh, what I could get at Dan Murphy's, the price comes down to about $142.57. So you can see there that Dan Murphy's is only like $1.50 more expensive regular price than duty free. There's hardly any price difference. Now, the reason I bought this, and, and I've got sort of three other bottles to get through, is that this bottle was discounted, quite heavily discounted. Its normal price is around about $143. It was on sale the other day at Dan Murphy for $99. So in terms of the duty-free equivalent, I paid $99. I would have paid $141.57 or thereabouts duty-free for the same bottle. Therefore, you'd have to say it's nearly not worth going duty-free. It's probably better to go to your favourable favourite uh, tipple establishment, waiting until the, your favourite spirits are on sales and buying them then. 
Now, I mentioned an Aldi store, and I was actually in Aldi the other day as well, and I saw this. This is a Bombay London Dry Gin. It's a 700ml bottle, and the Aldi price for this was $49.99, which I thought was a pretty good value. The duty-free uh, uh, store at Melbourne Airport sells this, but they sell it in a one-litre bottle for $56.99. So to equate the Aldi price to the duty-free price, you know, you've got to multiply the price by 1.43, and the Aldi one-litre equivalent price would have been $71.49. So um, a, a nearly $20, uh, or over $20 um, difference in price, uh, duty-free. So in that case, the duty-free price would have been a good value. The price at Dan Murphy for this, for a one litre bottle, is $69.90. So again, Dan Murphy um, is quite competitive against um, Aldi, but also um, you know, there, there's only about a, a 10 or so dollar difference between the two. So for these five bottles, it's, it's not a, a scientific uh, examination, but anecdotally, there's enough of a, um, a range here to get a feel for the duty-free prices versus regular prices. You get the idea. So the grand total of five bottles duty-free came to $549. And Dan Murphy's cost was $493. So you can see that Dan Murphy's on those five bottles was approximately $56. Dollars Australian less or roughly 10% of the purchase price quite a sizable difference um, In answer to my question that I asked earlier Is it still worth buying duty-free in Australia in 2024? Well, I think the answer to that is no, I don't think it is Like on some of these bottles these these couple of bottles there's a couple of dollar difference um, on that one, there's a couple of dollar difference, but if you wait until uh, any of these are on sale, um, and it could be like a 40 or more dollar difference between what you can get duty free and a sale price at a uh, reasonable um, alcohol superstore. For this one here, I was quite surprised that this was like uh, more than $30 or $26 more expensive duty free than the normal price that I could get this um, locally. And the gin, I think uh, the, the gins are probably um, the area of duty-free that you'd probably want to buy duty-free gin. Uh, they seem to be better, and I, I looked at a couple of prices for gins duty-free versus the local prices, and I do think that um, the duty-free prices on, on gins are probably fairly, fairly good value for money. Um, also duty-free, I think, where you can pick up some uh, good value for money uh, bottles of spirits is when uh, the duty-free places offer maybe uh, two bottles, two bottles for X, X amount. I think uh, perhaps some of the non-specialty and uh, uh, more popular lines like Gen Johnny Walker Red or Black Label, um, if you buy a couple of those, perhaps they might be a good value, but certainly for the higher end, more um, special bottles, I don't think there's the value for money at the duty free store. The other thing that makes it uh, hard to compare apples with apples or apples with oranges is that not only do the duty free stores tend to have more of the one litre bottle of uh, spirit, so therefore you can't directly compare the price between a one litre and a, and a 700 ml bottle. They have a lot of travel exclusives. Now, I'm not sure whether those travel exclusives are good value for money or whether they're, they're exactly the same uh, scotches and spirits, just repackaged and rebranded uh, to try and make um, um, them sound either better, more exclusive or, or, or more special. I'm not really sure. Maybe those travel exclusives are just good uh, marketing. Um, I just know that for me in future, I'll be quite hesitant in buying my spirits duty-free again. Um, 
I think I'd only want to buy those bottles that I'm very familiar with and am familiar with the pricing to determine whether uh, the, the spirits duty free are good value for money or not. Now I don't usually buy duty free um, spirits in other airports because of the hassle of getting them onto the plane and off the plane with um, suitcases and backpacks and camera bags and all the rest of it. So um, I might look out for the prices in other duty free uh, countries and see whether it's worth to, to buy those uh, spirits outside of Australia. But for me, I think um, you know the, the duty free purchases in the future may be few and far between. I do hope you've liked this video. If so, please hit that like and subscribe button and hit that notify bell to be notified of all my future videos. Until next time, you take care and bye now.